Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Becca and today we're gonna to be doing a lash removal. Normally I use Paris Lash Academy's cream remover, but today we're gonna to be trying out the T-Dance cream lash remover. I recently had went to a lash refresher course and she only used T-Dance lashes in her salon. So I went ahead and looked up the brand and they're actually at Amazon, which is great, very convenient, fast shipping. I went the other route and I went directly to the brand itself. So if you buy it from the brand itself, it's gonna be a lot cheaper, but it's gonna take close to three weeks depending on where you're living. I think it's a great choice, especially for something so cheap, but also great quality. And then you can also try out a lot of their stuff. So I actually had used their lash extensions for the video where my boyfriend is wearing it right now. So you could see that it's really dark and great quality, fluffy. These are volume lashes in the 0.07s. When applying cream remover, you wanna make sure you go at the base of the lashes and really saturate and coat where your lashes meet your lash extensions and you want to let it sit for a few minutes you can either do like three minutes five minutes just depending on you, your lashes i personally actually did his lashes like 10 minutes prior and i fanned them and i did all that so they're like set and so that's why it's a little harder for me to remove them if you had gotten this client maybe two weeks ago and they decided that they wanted them removed it would come off a lot easier because it's not bonded on so well. So I went ahead and I went through and made sure using my tweezers that I'm getting all the lashes. And then like in this section, also going in and making sure to coat it again, letting it sit and then removing it again. So you might have to do it maybe once or twice, depending on the client. I have had a client before where she had gotten it done previously and they had used flat lashes. And with flat lashes, I've noticed that it takes a little longer to remove it just simply because the surface level you have more compared to like a normal typical lash, which is rounded. When you're taking off the lashes, you want to make sure you're very gentle with them and not pulling. You can tug a little bit, but it's not going to be like you're pulling their actual natural lashes out. And you want to make sure you're just gentle in general just because you're taking off what they already have. And if you do notice a few natural lashes coming out and you're not pulling like super hard, it might just be the end of their lash phase and you're just kind of helping that come out. So you want to make sure you're just gentle, making sure you're taking your time. If you need to go another round with the remover, you totally can. Just whatever works for you and your pace and your speed and what you feel comfortable with. Next, you want to go in with a lash bath and making sure you get all of that cream remover residue off from the lashes, the lash line, and all of that. So going in and making sure that it's clean in between every lash and base and all of that. And if even if you have to do it a second time, I would highly recommend that just so they're not walking around and they still have residue on their eyes. So in this video, you can kind of see me going in and making sure that it's good the first round going in, rinsing, and then going in again to make sure any of that residue is off. Sometimes it can be left behind. As you can see, I did that first lash bath and I went ahead and with some tweezers and made sure to grab any of those little pieces that are on the lashes still. And if you need to go again for the third time to get make sure that there's no residue, I would keep doing it until you get it all off. And if it is something that is a little bit more stubborn, you can try kind of like the banana peel method where you go in with another pair of tweezers and then kind of pull that off. And I would work with your own speed. A lot of times you can get this done in 10 minutes. They're good and they're gone within that time frame. But whatever works for you, whatever you feel comfortable with, if you do like a gel over a cream, you definitely can do that. It's all whatever works for you and it's your service. You can do whatever you want. So I just encourage you to practice and even if it's only a certain section or a little piece, I definitely would just try just to kind of get the hang of it and see what works for you. My boyfriend's a great sport, so you'll probably see him in more videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!